Hey, what's up Reefers? Need some really quick feedback. Uh, shit always happens right before a trip, right? So look at the Elegance Coral. I actually moved it out a little bit because I noticed a little issue yesterday. So you will see that, see how the tentacle is kind of retracted and looking kind of messed up? That portion was kind of parked up close to the hammer before and there was no issue at all until about two days ago, I noticed almost like a flesh wound a little bit higher up on the oral disc. And at that point, the tentacle is a little bit retracted already. Um, and it just looks worse. Uh, these today, and actually yesterday started looking a little off and today just completely retracted, which is not a good sign. So I moved the coral a little bit further from the hammer in case the hammer for some reason decided that it's hammer time all of a sudden. I really don't know what happened. So either the hammer decided to start stinging the elegance coral or maybe the anatomy roamed down and stung it or I know the um, green clown goby lives inside this elegance so maybe the green clown goby decided to munch on it. I'm not sure what's going on. But whatever it is, there was a um, little wound on the oral disc and the tentacle just retracted. Um, I'm just really worried that because it looks worse than how it was yesterday. I'm really worried that it's gonna just go downhill while I'm away and the whole colony is just gonna melt away while I'm away uh, for the weekend and it's gonna just crash a tank. That would be bad. Um, and I'm also really worried that it's gonna develop, it's gonna turn into the brown jelly disease due to the damage and it's gonna get infected. That's gonna be bad. So I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? What would you do in this situation? Would you kind of just leave it? Here, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can get a, eh, not really, can't really focus that close. I'll try to get something from a different angle. Would you leave it? Would you maybe dip it in iodine, which I do have, Luigi solution. Um, would you try to cut that portion off? I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried because I won't be here. If if I'll be around this weekend, I could just uh, cut it and then dip it in iodine and just observe it. If it does not do well, I just pull the coral. Um, the thing is that if I'm not going to be around, a mess of it, it speeds up the process of the, of it passing away. If it does go that route, I won't be around to pull the coral out of the tank and that's just going to be bad. So here, let me just kind of swing around so you get the full view. Everything else seems perfectly fine. Uh, the light just came on, that's why it's kind of closed up. Um, it's just that one corner. Is that one corner that's uh, kind of curled up with the tentacle shrunk? And it looks like you see that little white fuzz? It's a little bit higher up on the oral disc, that's kind of right where the skin folds in. It's slightly fuzzy, so I feel like the tissue is decaying right there. There's definitely some decay. Uh, I don't know, it's a tough call. I feel like maybe I will go ahead and just dip it and try to blow as much, well not blowing it too hard, but just use a turkey base to kind of like slowly uh, blast off whatever is there. But at the same time, I'm kind of hesitant because some people say the iodine dip may not do much, especially if it turns out to be brown jelly, except stress and coral more and just speed up the process, which would not be good because I won't be back. I won't be around for about three days or so. So I don't know. Need some quick advice. What do you guys think? Yeah, let me know. Um, whatever I got to do, I got to do tonight and uh, if I have to guess, if the coral is just seriously going downhill, if I, have to, if I have to guess, it should be able to last at least two days. So by the time I come back, if it's really a goner, I could, I could pull it out then, I think. So it may not be that quick, which sucks because I really like the elegance and obviously everybody likes it. Um, and I'm really curious what happened to it. There was what appeared to be like a flesh wound right above the right above the edge so that's really curious and i don't remember anything falling on it 
and the fact that it was perfectly happy next to the hammer core for so long, I'm I'm not sure of it. One day the hammer just decided to sting it. It's just really, really strange. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get any closer to get a better look. But as you can see, the tentacle is obviously retracted and there seems to be a little bit of a necosis on the tissue slightly above the rim. But for the other parts, everything else seems to be okay. And I, again, I kind of moved the core out a little bit so it's not touching anything. Um, but I did that last night, but obviously that did not help much. <sighs> Why do these things have to happen? And why do these things have to happen right before a trip? <laughs> Alright guys, appreciate any feedback, especially anything that I could do um, that, uh, that can help the chance of this elegance coral. Oh boy. And also, if you know any cool places to go to, um, on a happier note, in Canada, Toronto area, especially any cool aquarium to check out, let me know. All right, I'm going to go pack and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.